and we start sort of with the script and we mine that script so we mine the text for clues about our individual characters so what the character says about themselves what other characters say about them um, and what the playwright says about that character and then we start sort of really sitting in that character's given circumstances and we work out sort of what's at stake for our character and it's just what's in the script it's nothing else we don't make anything up it's just what's there and then we sort of start working scene by scene with the other people in the other characters in the scene working out what our character wants so our objective and working out our action we um, physically, you know, put ourselves in the space and we action it. Actions are what you're doing physically in order to um, meet your objective and your objective is what the character, like, psychologically wants. Like, it's their yeah. point and actions are what they're physically doing to achieve that. That's, that's, that's right, that's right. Yeah. And, uh, I know it's interesting because, uh, cause it's, you know, you ask them a question and they go, yeah, about their process and everybody goes, I'll oh, just, you know, I've read it somewhere. Yeah, go, go back to academic words. But, but because they're doing it and so they just sort of understand it kinesthetically, I think. Yeah. Uh, Stanislavski uh, began by uh, the idea that the emotion makes you respond. So, um, you know, you, you feel fear and then you react, your body reacts to the fear. And so he worked with actors saying, I need you to bring fear up. So we're going to use a memory from your life where you felt fear, emotional memory or emotional recall, whatever you want to call it. And that works, it does work. You can go back in your life, you can feel fear, you know, it doesn't have, you can feel loss. So, so if a character in the play has uh, lost someone very close to them, but you say, I never have, you say, well, what loss have you felt? Mm -hmm. So it could be a, a pet dying. If that's as much as, as extreme as it's got for you, that's fine. We'll use that because that is all relative. Uh, so they bring that up and then they find trigger, uh, trigger objects from their memory. So they remember when they were told their cat had died and they remember how their mum told them and then you ask them to go back to that and, and they're in the first person. You ask them to bring something back from it, like a clock or a, an object, and then they, that object becomes the trigger object. So when they think of that clock, they get the emotion. So it's just a process of, so finally they don't have to bring in the whole thing, but they're in the scene and they go, this is where I'm that, and they think of the clock and it all comes, the emotion comes up for them, and then they start to react in the scene, um, or the rehearsal through that. Now what, what the problem with we that? We don't do that. Yeah, I hope you don't get the misquoted the, here. The, pro <laughs> the problem with that, as I was asking earlier on, the problem with that is that it's, um, is that it's unreliable. And Stanislavski wasn't particularly worried about it, but Michael Chekhov was and other practitioners because it was damaging for the actor. Mm -hmm. Stanislavski doesn't seem to be, have worried about the actor at all in terms of the damage it did. He just wanted to find a way to make them good, mm -hmm. even if they killed them. And um, so then he, then he changed his mind and thought, well, what if it's the other way around? What if it's the action that causes the emotion? So you do something first, and then as a result of doing it, you feel. So for example, you know, um, I, uh, I, I go home and, and my wife tells me that, you know, our son has, has drowned. Um, what, what the actor has to do is to say, in this moment, in this scene, what am I going to physically do? What do I want? And then what am I going to physically do to want that, to, to get that? And then they play that. And then they play it with the intensity they think is appropriate for the for the moment. And then you build the intensity, you go way over the intensity. So if they say, I would start to, you know, I would, I, I would, I, I, well, they're doing that. So they're, they're just kind of moving here. And then you find a verb um, such a, that, that sort of seems to sum that up. So it's frantic and it's kind of very, very sharp, short movements. You find a verb and they do that. And you get them to repeat it and repeat it and repeat it and do it in different ways. And the idea is that by doing it, the body gives the emotion to them. They start to feel, because they go, as I did it, I got the feeling. And then you ask them about, well, what did that feel like? What's that about? And then what you do is you sort of begin a conversation between the emotion and the action. And then one can dominate the other, depending upon the actor, but there's a conversation between them both. And then by the time you get to the play, you have a, a score of actions, as Grotowski called them, a score of actions, which is like a musical score. And so rather than just remember the text, they just they, they subconsciously know all of their actions. They don't have to remember them so they can repeat them, but as they're going through the scene, their body is so used to playing those things, they play them and it all comes up for them and they're into this mode of being able to be very present.